Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. You're fine. Great. Good to see you again, guys, and welcome to the class. We will start right now because this time it's yes. Uh, let's see. So let's say hi, Mabel. Hi, Serena. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Hi, Jaime. Hi, Kenny. Hi, Osbin. Hello, Marielos. Hello, Ezekiel. Hi, Amilcar. Hi, Lisette. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Stefania. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Marina. Hi. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, Hello everyone. All right, well, good to see you, everyone, guys. Uh, we will go ahead and start with classes right now. Um, yesterday, we um, had some pending activities, right? I don't know if you remember, we have one activity yesterday about, let's see. Um, we did this already. Oh, yes. All right. So um, before continue, before continue with one activity that we have for you guys. Austin, oh, could you please send us the image about the error that is giving you? Um, can you listen? Can cannot you listen, or you maybe you cannot uh, use the microphone? I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Let me let me help us. Mean that has audio problems. The, the, the sound the sound has a difficult. Uh -huh, but I don't know if he cannot listen to us or maybe he cannot speak. Does it work right now, Osbin? Yes, teacher. I, I, oh, I okay. listen right now. Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Nice to know that everything is working fine. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you for your effort. So let's see. Um, Page 13, right? Let's see, page 13. No, it is not in the page 13. Mm -hmm. Great, okay, so let me go ahead and share this screen, guys. We will have like a review about yesterday's class. All right, we, have, we will have a review. And yesterday, uh, we were talking, guys, about time expressions, right? Yesterday, we were talking about time expressions. We said that we have uh, a lot of time expressions because we have a lot of time expressions. But there are five time expressions that we learned yesterday. And those five time expressions are four plus a period of time. For example, I worked in Diana for seven years. And then we have since plus an specific points in the past. Example, I have worked since, I'm sorry, I have worked there since 2005. Uh, we use from to state the story in the end of time. I stayed there from January to November. Then we use them to introduce a new events in a series. For example, I work in that company until 2011, then I quit. And until to mark the end of an activity of a period of time. For example, I work in Panama, uh, in Panama until my project was over. So in order to put them in practice, guys, I do have here Nicole's work experience okay Nicole work, work experience is basically Nicole talking about her experience so our job is to fill in the blanks for I'm sorry using for since to 
front, front and two and long. Oh, mm, okay. So let's see, guys. Let's go up. And as I can see here, this is not highlighted. Oh, this is not in bold, but this is together. I mean, this is two time expressions. Front two, okay, is together. One second, let me just go ahead and specify for you or highlight it for you. Okay, this is four, this is sense. We use from to, for example, from January to November, right? And then we have then, and then we have until. So those are the time, time expressions, okay? From to, from uh, 8 a.m., for example, to 10 p.m., all right? Just to clarify that. That's why here it says from to, okay? Front two. Four since front two and until. I don't know, it says long here, but it's until, okay? Until. So, what we're gonna be doing right now is that we will complete this work experience, Nicole's work experience, okay? We will fill the blanks together, all right? We will do it together right now. So, for this, I really need your participation, guys. And I will say that right now, I will start reading this uh, work experience, Nicole's work experience, and you will help me to read it as well. So let me start. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there. Could you please help me with this, Sabrina? From. Very good, thank you. From? 2005 to, ah, no traffic. Sorry, <laughs> from 2005? To 2011. To, to 2011, very good. Um, Let's see, Ezekiel, could you please continue the reading? Could you please continue reading until here? Hasta acá, seven years, hasta acá. Could you please continue reading? Then she worked in Molsa for- She worked, years. sorry. She worked, all right. Worked. There you go. Then she worked then she in Molsa For seven years. For seven years, amazing. Okay, uh, let's see. Christian, could you please help me with the following text? Oof, it's difficult. Why? Let me, let me see the sure. next one. Yes, no, no worries. <laughs> we are doing it together. She was a child. She was a child. She wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. Mm -hmm. No, for me is. I don't know, teacher. It's difficult. It is. Since, since, since. 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 Okay, let's go ahead and verify all of this. What about if I say, for she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. Mm. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. Mm. From to, she was a child, no, right? And until she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. For me, it's similar, maybe until or maybe since. So what do you think? Guys, until uh, or since? I think uh, until. until. Sure. Okay, let me go ahead and do something. I know, Sabrina, uh, you already told me, but I want you to go ahead and analyze it. Let's go ahead and, and, and look for the definition. It says, until to mark the end of an activity, period of time. I worked in Panama until my project was over. And let's go with since. 
since plus and a specific point in the past. I have worked there since 2005. 2005 can be replaced for a year, for an, um, for a, I mean, for an hour, for a day, for a moment in your life, etc. Okay, not just oh. a year. So in this case, is signs. Since. Okay, yes, it seems, guys, okay? Because it's in a specific period of time in the past, okay? Specific period of time of, in the past is when I was a child, that was in a specific period of time in the past, okay? Okay. So, since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. Until, guys, is used in order to mark the end of a period of time. And it was just the beginning that she wanted to be the manager. It was not the end. That's why we chose since, okay? Any questions regarding this? No questions? Okay, by Christian, could you please help me to read it? Okay. Okay, okay. Sin was a child. She Sin. wanted mm -hmm. to be a manager of a great and important company. Great she job. Did, mm -hmm. Continue. She did not have to have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was manager. Lisette, could you please help us here? Lisette is here. Is Lisette here? No, right? Uh, okay. Um, Amilcar, could you please help us with, with the following? How, how would it be there? Could you please help us? Christian is reading. She did not have to wait much time to make his this dream come true because the man who was the manager almost 15 years retired. What would be four scenes from two or until? Four. Four? She did not four. have the to wait much, uh, much to to make uh, this dream come true because the man who was the manager four, right? For almost fifteen years. Great Return. job. Perfect. For almost 15 years, retired. Okay, what we, what do we said about uh, four? About four, we said that we use four plus period of time. And a period of time is 15 years. That's what we use 15, uh, four, okay? Period of time, 15 years, okay? In that case, guys, uh, if we say, for example, uh, the year, si decimos el, el, el año, sería since. Since. Exactly. Because it's a period of time. But we use for, for a, um, sorry, we use since for a point in the past, right? Here. No question. For uh, a specific point in the past. And for, for a period of time. Periodo de tiempo for since un, um, un punto en el pasado, ¿ok? Un, 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 un tiempo en el pasado, un tiempo en específico en el pasado. Okay. Yes, Ezekiel, sorry, go for it. Since. Since. Uh, to past and future. Since. Sorry, Ezekiel, what was that again? Since apply to any time, past, present, and future. Yes, I mean, all these time expressions, guys, are used in any structure, in any time, in any terms, okay? Uh, sometimes it is, it, it is common that since and for is used in, um, in present uh, perfect. Sometimes it is common using present perfect and in past. It's common, okay? But those time expressions are used in any structure, in any tense, okay? 
Did yeah. I answer your question? Yes, este, my question is because all the examples is in past. Yes, I know. Uh, almost all the examples are in past, okay? But you will, there's gonna be a, um, a moment that you might find those, ex, those time expressions in any other time, okay? But uh, you can go ahead um, and use them in past and present, uh, sorry, and perfect, um, in, pa in present perfect, present. and in present, in past continuous also. So there are a lot of tense related with past as well. But there might be a moment that you can encounter those uh, time expressions in another structures or in another tenses, okay? For example, I can say, um, I always sleep, I always sleep from 1, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., okay? That would be an example and it's in present. I always sleep from 8 p.m to 3 p.m. Okay, the N is in present. So there are some time expressions that can be used in any tense, in any structure, okay? Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Um, all right, so let's continue. So for almost 15 years, uh, the manager for almost 15 years retired. Uh, let's see. Now let's go with Mabel. Mabel, could you please help me to read his name was until 2015? Okay. His name was... My oh, camera sorry. was so sorry. Sorry, Mabel. <laughs> yes. His name was Gonzalo. Okay. His name uh, was Gonzalo and he worked uh, there um, since his name was Gonzalo and he worked there mm -hmm. since 2015 since 2015 very good good job okay Mabel good wonderful all right uh, let's see Marina could you please help me with the next one Today, Nicole is, success, is a successful person. She worked, you can finish until here, her job. She works, she works. Mm -hmm. Four. Four? For Monday, four. Um, what do you think, guys, four? From. From. From, from Monday. Ah, yes, yes. From she Monday? For Monday to Saturday. Very good. From Monday to Saturday. And continue and reading. She and she loves her job. Good job. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. All right, let's see. Let's go with Lisette is here right now. Hi, Lisette. Could you please help me with the next um, sentence? que tiene 30 usos. Ay, si, yo no tengo armas. Is Lisette here? Daniel, could you please help me with the last sentence? Daniel? Me. Yes. Okay. She has not worked there. Uh, let me see. Then, but her team support her. She has I not think. worked there. She has, she has no work there. No work there. Until. Let me see. No, I it's fine. The... Okay, uh, Lisette. Uh, sorry, I don't know if Lisette can. Oh, okay, Lisette. 
Uh, Marielos will help us. Marielos and Sabrina. Sabrina, okay, girls. What can we do here? What is the best option? She has not worked there. She has not worked there long. Es que fíjese que creo que long no va ahí. Creo que en vez de long va until. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yo decía, es la única que no hemos usado. Uh -huh. <laughs> She has no work in there. Mm. She has no work in there. Okay, I think the first year. So what do you think, guys? It's a little bit confusing, right? But let's use the best option. The one that fits more. The one that fits more. Mm -hmm. Until. Until? She, she has not worked there until, but uh, her team supports her. All right, thank you, Jaime. What do you think, guys? Is that until? I think could be fair. Mm -hmm. She has not worked there then, but but her team support her. So is then or until, guys? I think so. I think it's until because it's the finish of uh, Nicole's work. Mm -hmm. Um, I I am sorry, right? Because it's is is a little it's complicated right now. This example. And I believe, guys, that Sabrina is right. I mean, the the right uh, the right one is long. Oh my God! Sorry for my camera again. It was turned off, and I didn't notice. So, I believe that Sabrina, I mean, is right. I believe it's long. She has now worked there long, but her team supports her. Supports her. But for any reason, I don't know why they put lawn here instead of until, but okay. That's the correct option. That's the correct option, even though we haven't seen lawn, okay? I don't know why did they put it there, but it's lawn, okay? We cannot put four, since, from, to, or until, it's lawn. So don't pay attention to this one. It was a um, mistake here in the exercise, but it's lawn. Okay, I have already checked the the result or the answer. I feel sorry. a little confused. Mm -hmm. She has not worked okay. her since. I was thinking about since as well, but it's not since. Because sometimes it's, since can be used like that, but mm, no. So don't get confused with this because you, you don't know about this. Their loan is like a phrase, right? It's an expression but we haven't studied it. So at least guys, we know how to use for, since, from, to, and until, okay? Questions guys about those time expressions? Questions? No? No. I mean, they are very common. You will be able to identify them in the text, okay? So let me share this screen right now on the presentation here. Guys, uh, we will have a speaking practice, the one that we said yesterday. Remember, the, let's work, we were working on the page 13 on the conversation. Do you remember? We were talking about uh, work experience. I don't know if you remember about the conversation. And I told you that at the beginning of this class, uh, we are going to work on that conversation, but you will do your own conversation. 
you got a, a, a homework. I don't know if you remember. And the homework was to answer the, this question. Tell me about your work experience based on the video. Did you watch the video, guys? ¿Vieron el video? Yeah. Yes, very good. So, basado en el video, acuérdense, dijimos que vamos a contestar esta, esta pregunta, ¿ok? Y luego vamos a hacer, vamos a discutir con nuestro partner acerca de qué aprendieron en el video y van a tratar de practicar con él cómo harían en una interview ustedes si le preguntaran, tell me about your work experience. Did you make the homework? ¿Lo hicieron, guys? Si no, eh, le voy a dar ahorita, antes de irnos a practicar con su pair, le voy a brindar five minutes, ¿ok? Five minutes for you to answer the question, ¿ok? No lo respondan nada más por esta clase, respondanlo para su daily life experience, ¿ok? Si en caso usted tuviera una entrevista mañana, ¿cómo responder esa pregunta? Tell me about your work experience. Si no ha visto el video, trate de verlo ahorita. Le voy a dar ocho minutos. Eight minutes. Trate de responderle lo más profesional que pueda. Y piense que mañana tiene la interview. Y va a responder esto en inglés. ¿Cómo lo respondería, guys? Traten de ponerlo, todo su work experience, en una sola respuesta. ¿Ok? So, let's do this. Eight minutes to do it, and then we will work with your pair. And you will practice how to answer that question. Es un momento para practicar. Practice. Right now, you do it, you create the answer, and then you practice, okay? Questions about this? Pongan en práctica lo que aprendieron en el video también, all right? Questions about these guys or no questions? No? Okay, great. So let's have eight minutes to do it. Eight minutes, guys. Guys, do you have any questions so far? Oh, we're good. Are we okay? Some of you? Sí? It's okay, so... Mm -hmm. it's, um... it's okay, we're watching the <laughs> video. Your end, okay, okay. <laughs> Me dejan saber. Sí, I know, guys, pero traten de hacerlo lo más estructurado posible, lo más bonito, porque el día de mañana van a responder a esa pregunta, ¿ok? Para obtener ese trabajo deseado, guys, all right? So let's do all it. Answer, all answer will be the true uh, answer. All question will be the, the true question, uh, answer. Oh, it should be true, right? All answer yeah. should be true, yes. All answer should be true, guys, but it's, it's in but, order for you to get practice. But uh, we can use our imagination. That's right. To practice, yes. <laughs> For you to practice, yes. But if you want to prepare in every life, you can do it as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so it's all up to you. Yes. <laughs> okay. So then tomorrow the interviewer says, mm, "You're doing. You're telling me something, but here in the CV." I don't see that, va a decir. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yes, Ezekiel, questions? No. ¿Tienen preguntas? ¿Dudas? No? No questions? Hello, teacher. Hello, Fatima. Oh, don't worry. 
do you remember que, uh, yesterday we were talking about answering the question, oh, tell me about your work experience? Yes. So right now we are creating the question, I mean the answer, and we have seven minutes and later on you will practice, you will have uh, time to practice with your partner, okay? Yes. Like make it real, like if you, you tomorrow have this interview, how would you answer that question? Okay, thank okay. you. You're welcome. Guys, I want to say that for this answer, no, no, no necesito mucho que, okay, tienen que utilizar estos uh, uh, time expressions. No necessary. No necesariamente. ¿Por qué? Porque el, lo pueden ocupar, claro que sí pueden ocupar todas las estructuras que ya utilizaron. Más sin embargo, como está hablando de su work experience, guys, usted va a hablar en pasado. Ok, o en present perfect, depending on, the depending on the case. Pero lo que les quería decir es que 
Lo que me interesa es que ustedes vayan practicando cómo pueden eh, resolver esa pregunta o cómo pueden eh, responderla. ¿Sí? So, traten de ponerle lo mejor que puedan, sin limitaciones, ¿ok? FYI, ¿ok? If you have any questions, let me know. There are missing one more minute, ¿ok? Guys, time is over. Um, you know what? Let's do something. While you continue doing this, I will go through the attendance list, okay? Help me out to say present and to turn on the camera if possible to say, uh, I mean, to go through the attendance list, okay? Let's see. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Presente, Chen. Thank you. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present, teacher. Um, Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Julio César Merino González. Present. 
Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. ¿Quién y Lizeth Cuer de Barrientos? Present. Oh. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin, Alexa, Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Smith. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, guys. So now, uh, let's practice in pairs, okay? What you have. Let's practice what you have. What will be the answer that you will add, you will give tomorrow? What, do, what would you answer tomorrow if they ask you, tell me about your work experience? So let's go ahead and practice with your partner, guys, okay? Practice as much as you can. You will have 10 minutes to do it. Any questions so far? No? No questions? Uh, not teacher. Very good, okay. I'm uh, sending you to the break coverings, okay? Guys, click and join, please. Julio César Ramírez. No sé si puede, no sé si está en uh, The Listen ahorita. Daniel Arquímedes. No, no. No le aparece. No. no. Le voy a dar, le voy a, uh, lo voy a enviar para otro room a la segunda vez de él. Porque a este no. <ríe> Ahora, déjeme ver. Ahora sí, dele click and join. Okay. Julio César, no sé si está el listener. Um, sí, teacher. Ah, ok, great. Gracias. Solamente tengo a alguien aquí esperando. Let's see. Cristian. Ay, qué vergüenza.
Hola, hola, Julio César, dígame. Excuse me, teacher. ¿Cómo es que vamos a practicar la, la conversación? Usted va a imaginarse que Lisette es la entrevistador del día de mañana. Y le va a preguntar, tell me about your experience. Esta es una real. Ah, in... Yes. Ajá. Okay. Y usted le va a responder. Para yes, I, need, I, need, I, I, need my, I need the work. Exactly. I need. Uh -huh. Yes. Yo la convenzo, no se preocupe. Ok, great. <laughs> okay. Bueno. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Lisette. Um, you, you question. Why, why I need, why I need hear you. Okay. Um, para comenzar bien, eh, me parece que tú, tú estás en tu oficina y yo llego a a yes. visitar mi trabajo okay. eh, perdón si te digo tú <ríe> solo me dice si se puede o no se puede eh, dice no se puede. Eh, good morning or good night I am, I am Julio Merino nice to meet you sorry guys no los nice quiero interrumpir <ríe> perdóneme ¿Qué? fíjense de que Tratemos de solamente responder esa preguntita porque después ah, okay. vamos a hacer toda una interview completa. <ríe> después ah, siga. Okay. Okay. Solo la preguntita de tell me about your work experience. Dígale, dice. Experience. Ah, ok. Solo esa respuesta. Ok. Uh -huh. tell, ¿Cómo la daría? Tell me about your experience. And I do have the experience. Work I, experience. I... Work experience. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. I do work, have experience. Oh, I do work experience is, um, I be done this kind of work. Um, this year, I think. Teacher, ¿cómo se pone? Eh, hasta la fecha, digamos, de cierto año, hasta la fecha o la actualidad. Until present. ¿Cómo dijo? Until present. Until present. Ah. O up to date. Creo que quiero utilizar el, el until, ¿verdad? Pero puede decir up to date. Como hasta hoy o hasta la fecha. Ahorita se lo mando. Ah, bye. Yeah. I worked from two thousand eighteen to two thousand twenty one. In IFP Confia. Then I came up with a better job opportunity, so I quit. My work was until I finished the project for three months. And now I have um what mean? Uh, Okay, se los manden en chat, guys. To date. Hasta la fecha. To date. To date, okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome, guys.
this work if you hire me, if you hire me. I think okay. just that. Thanks, okay. uh, um, Today, uh, today, where are you working, Sarah? Uh, in a dental clinic. Dental SB. Today. You work in, in Machilis what? Factory? I, or, have, or? I have three three years working in a uh, escuela bilingüe mm, eh, ¿Qué How? fechas? ¿Cómo le diría? ¿Qué fechas? ¿En qué fechas? ¿O ¿Desde cuándo? Es que eso quiero preguntar. ¿Desde cuándo? Ah, es difícil. When did you start? When did you start working there? When did you start working there? In colegio más. When did you, did you start? start? Exactly, when, working. When you start, um, was. When did you start? When did you start when working? When did you work? When did you start working? Start working. Uh, when did you start working? I started work in 2019. 2019. Twenty nineteen. Ah. Twenty nineteen. But uh, we can we can use twenty nineteen or we can use two thousand nineteen. Both mm. form is correct. Ya sea que digan veinte diecinueve o dos mil diecinueve. Las dos formas son correctas. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, Christian, how many years teach? teach? Uh, uh, no sé, ¿qué, ¿cuántos años tiene de dar clase? Uh, teaching, eh, enseñando. Huh? Teaching. Uh -huh. I have um, maybe six years. Six, six years. Six years. Kenny, when do you when do you work? work, work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and uh. Spanish teacher, I <clears throat> impart the language, lectura, and, <clears throat> and social, and sociales. Do you teach the language, language and, and literatura? Language. Yes. Language. <laughs> language. Uh, okay. Uh, what great why do you teach a uh, actually i i am a sponsor uh, for 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 grade <clears throat> sorry oh, for four grade. grade yes in primary okay. school okay how many child do you have uh i have it to i have around 14 15. <laughs> okay. i think <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
También podemos usar el, el for. ¿Cuántos años ha estado laborando para...? Ajá, al principio lo metí. Sí, ¿verdad? Cuando... Cuando... Okay. Okay. El era el tuyo. My all world, all world. Mm, okay, it's so interesting. Your past yes. work. Yes, world, and the world is beautiful. No, uh, where do you work? Now, now. Mm, yes. Uh, yes, and in. Ahora. In no, Sales. No, but but the name of the company. Yes, in Sales. Hello, hello, guys. Thank you for coming back. Did you practice the quad, the, the answer with your um, with your partner, guys? Yes, you're ready for the interview tomorrow. Remember that it was just one question, right? Later on, we will continue practicing in the whole interview. Is everyone here? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, guys. Vamos por partes, right? Ahorita ya, ya sabemos cómo decir eh, qué responder si nos dicen what is, uh, tell me about your work experience. Um, vamos a seguir practicando más para hacer una interview. Okay, definitely we will do it. But I believe if we have time today, we will practice a whole interview, okay? With your classmate. Una, una entrevista eh, completa. La vamos a tratar de, de practicar. Pero ahorita más que todo estábamos como practicando cómo responder eso, esa pregunta. Tell me about your work experience. So I, want, I just want to listen three of you this answer who wants to share with me your answer three of you or you can choose choose one person 
You can say, hey, teacher, you know what? Um, Julio Cesar did it good. So Julio, Sabrina, my... we start. Okay, Sabrina, I want to I want to listen to your answer. Uh, I didn't hear what what did you say? <laughs> no, no, I, I will start. So uh, share your answer with us. Share ah, your answer. Okay, mm -hmm. okay well and um, for example if a person asked me uh, about my work experience, I will say something like that. Well, I worked in a dental clinic for five years, for four years, almost five years, since 2018 until, until now. Uh, I was dental assistant and I was responsible for organization and cleaning all in the clinic, medical records, patients, products, and the schedule. It helps me to be organized and efficient while I'm working. Uh, it can help me if you hire me. If you hire me. Hire me. Hire me. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Hear me or hire me? Hi, hire me. I think higher than higher. higher. Teacher, no le escucho. Teacher, I so hear you. You are mute. It's in mute. Sorry, it's higher. 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 <coughs> okay, thank you. Very good, Sabrina. Good job. Who wants to share your answer, guys? Who wants to share the answer? Two more. I want to hear two more. Two more um, volunteers. My best friend. <laughs> Jaime. Okay, Jaime. Okay. Um, and I work at Alcaldía Naujatlán for six years. Um, I worked in the, the Alcaldía from 2005 to 2010. And I quit because it was uh, offered a new job in other company. It was for six years. And then actually I work in the uh, Escuela Bilingüe Maquilis Science 2028. This company is a good place for work and I think will work for a long time. That's it. Very good, Jaime. Very good, congratulations. Okay, the yeah. last person, guys, who wants to share your answer? Who wants to do it? Say me, raise your hand. Me. Okay, Fatima, go for it. And then I believe Osbin, okay? We will have a four. No, Osbin? <laughs> no? Okay, sorry. Okay, Fatima, go. I, <laughs> I worked at Air Support for three years from 2017 to 2019 as an expense analyst. And I currently work at Meliora since 2019 as a corporate treasurer. Recently, I'm applying for a position as a finance, financial analyst, financial analyst. Good luck, Fatima, and I hope you can get it, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Very good, Fatima. Good job. That was the interview about that. <laughs> okay, guys, I want to say congratulations. You did an amazing job, okay? So uh, let me share the screen. Okay. I'm sharing the screen because we will continue with another topic today. 
All right, and the topic that we have for today is filling out an application, a job application, okay? Filling out a job application. This is the class number four, okay? Remember, and wow, it's almost the end of the week. Guys, it always happens like that. It was like yesterday that we started and then that the, then we have the end of the course. So time is basically passing so fast, all right? So you need to take advantage of all of this learning, guys. So let's see, give me a second. We did this already and we have a video here. This video is gonna be watched individually <laughs> because of some policies that INSA4 has. I cannot project this video today. So I will share the link, okay? I will share the link for you to watch it in your phone. It's gonna be individually. We will do it at the same time. Todos lo vamos a estar viendo el video al mismo tiempo, okay? Pero usted nada más. U usted ahí en su casita en el, al mismo tiempo que todos ok, vamos a ver creo que dura como 5 or 6 minutes vamos a ver el video y luego vamos a repasar un, un vocabulario super important que tenemos acá relacionado a siempre a um, getting a job job um, the job um, a the job, uh, what is what is it called? Um, how to get a job, how to get a job. I just forgot this, the application, the, the job application, sorry, I just forgot the word, the job application and related to this, okay? Related with interview, etc. So let me share with you this link. Se lo voy a mandar al WhatsApp y vamos a ver el video en este mismo momento todos. Pero lo vamos a ver individualmente en sus teléfonos. Yo lo voy a ver en el mío, Sabrina en el suyo, Julio en el de él, etc. ¿Ok? Bye. Se los acabo de mandar, guys. ¿Pueden ver el video? Me avisan cuando ya tengan el video enfrente de ustedes para que lo empecemos a ver todos al mismo tiempo. ¿Ok? Ya lo tiene? Yes? Yes. Teacher. Yeah. Great. Yes, so, Pay attention to the video, guys. And um pay attention to the video and learn as much as you can. Traten de aprender lo más que puedan del video y luego vamos a hacer otras actividades. Okay? Okay. Teacher. Would you mind sharing the, Hi, the video here? Yeah. You can. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Okay, no, okay. I can. I can. Yes, yes, I remember. I remember. <laughs> because of the policies that we have. For okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, no, porque ya saben que aquí lo pusiéramos, okay? Pero sí okay. quiero que lo veamos todos. So let's watch it. Let's watch okay. it right now, okay? Veámoslo el video individualmente en su teléfono, ustedes mismos. Yo no lo voy a proyectar porque por políticas no puedo, así que ustedes proyecten y ustedes véanlo ahorita, ¿ok? I will do it as well, ¿ok? If you have any question, let me know.
Guys, I believe you finished, right? Yes, it's fine. Perfect. I finished. Yes, teacher. Great job. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about this video. We were talking before about work experience, right? Or um, labor, laboral uh, background, okay? But now we're going to be talking about educational background, okay? Or Yes, educational background. How would you say the educational background that you have? I, I took a screenshot from the video, all right? And I got it here. Let me get a second. Those are the, um, I mean, how to talk about your education. How to talk about your education whenever you are in an interview. Do you see the screen? Ven a pantalla? Yes. Great. So this is yeah. what you saw on the video. Eso es lo que ustedes vieron en el video, right? We uh, use different um, verbs in order for you to say what, what degrees do you have. We can say Tom graduated from the University of Toronto, right? Um, uh, Tom graduated uh, from the University of Toronto with a B, B, A in history, okay? We can say Maria has a MBA o Maria Cole a MBA. No sé si se acuerdan los verbos que ella estaba diciendo. Pueden decirlo de esa manera. Pueden decir, Heysan obtained o Heysan got a VSC. In microbiology from the University of Cambridge, okay? Pueden decir también. Uh, Hazen completed. Let's see. No, Olga completed, all right, completed a MA in psychology from Oxford University. Hay muchas maneras de cómo lo podemos decir. Estos verbos nos van a ayudar. Se los voy a compartir por WhatsApp lo que ella estaba diciendo. Y también en la última podemos decir, Rash has a PhD, ¿ok? O Rash awarded a PhD, ¿ok? Les voy a mandar esos verbos si ustedes pueden utilizar cuando están hablando de sus degrees in education. Y ya les voy a dar más um, información de eso. Graduated, ok. Hall and has. Hall and has. Hall and has. Permítanme, guys. Acá se los estoy pasando. Hall and has. Pueden ver el video después también. Para seguir aprendiendo. Obtained. Obtain o pueden decir got, all right? Obtain or got, que es obtener. Completed, completó, ok, un degree en. Has, otra vez, o puede decir was awarded, ok? Si ustedes quieren decir, ustedes dicen, I am, I was awarded, sorry, I was, I was awarded, um, or, um, let's see, no, actually, yes, this was awarded, graduated, dependiendo en qué, en qué tiempo lo quiere decir, pero esos son los verbos que ustedes pueden utilizar, ok? Ahora, you might be asking, ok, teacher, but I want to know what is the meaning of, of BA, what is the meaning of BMA, BS, MA, PhD, okay, what is it come from, teacher? Could you please explain that again or could you please tell us more information about it? Of course, guys, okay. Les traje, mm, perdón que no lo traje una presentación, pero es una información un poquito larga para una presentación, así que hice un documento de Word y le saqué esta información. Si ustedes quieren, se las puedo pasar. Pero usted me puede preguntar, usted puede estarse preguntando, teacher, pero ¿cómo podemos decir nuestros degrees en inglés? Ok, si tienen ustedes 
una interview, ¿cómo ustedes van a expresar eso? Si le pregunta, what is your educational background? Ya vimos cómo decir work experience. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si quieren expresar su educational background? So, I will share this screen with you about the word, uh, the word document that I have and pay attention, okay? Pongan atención, pay attention, guys. Vaya, completando con el video que estábamos viendo, guys. Those are the different college degrees level. Do you see the screen, guys? Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we have the different college degree levels. We have the associate yeah. degree, okay? Then we have the bachelor degree. We have the master's degree. And then we have the doctoral degree, which is the advanced, okay? El doctoral, all right? So let's just explain briefly about those degrees because this is an information you should know. Associate degree, guys, normally it takes from one to two years to complete it, all right? Um, in Salvadorian language will be like un técnico, okay? This is the associate degree, okay? It says, Typically offered by community and technical colleges, okay? An associate degree includes roughly two years of course coursework. Depending on the discipline, students may also complete practical requirements. Internships and practicum are common in healthcare and technology programs, etc. Okay, for you to get this degree, you need to have the high school diploma or equivalent. Could you please tell me one institution that offer associate degree in El Salvador? Itka. Very Itka. good. Good job. So that is an associate degree. Okay, from one to, t to two years. Some examples about associate degrees are AAS. Okay, AAS means Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arms, Arts, sorry, AA, and AS, Associate of Science. So, cada vez que ustedes vean eso, ustedes saben que son técnicos cuando empieza con el A. All right? Are we good? Are you following me, guys? Sí? Vamos bien hasta aquí? Yes, no? Yes, okay. yes. 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 Then we have the bachelor's degree. The bachelor's degree has, um, I mean, it, it has a time of four or five years, four or five years, okay? Uh, offered by private and public college and universities. Bachelor's degree include, well, this is not important, let's see. Um, Basically, that is that is it. I mean, guys, those are the ones that you completed at the university. Those are like in Spanish licenciaturas, okay? Bachelor's degree. It is from four to five years, okay? So, and this is from the university or college. It can be private or public. Some of the examples of, of those bachelor's degrees are Bachelor of Applicant Science. I mean, I will go ahead and give you just the acronym, which is BS, BAS, BR, BA, BBV, BFA, and BS. It can be Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Business Administration. So the B means Bachelor, means Licenciatura. La letter B, okay? Then we have master's degree. And the master's degree, guys, it, it is after, I mean, it is a requirement to have um, this bachelor's degree. It is like uh, un master que usted saque. And it can take from one to two years, okay? Un master que usted saque y va después de un bachelor's, okay? Let's see. Mm -hmm. It says, applicants to master's programs needs at least a bachelor's degree. 
Es como que se saque la licenciatura y después el master, ¿verdad? Ok, so for this master's degree, we have the acronym of M, M at the beginning. MBA, MED, MFA, MPA, etc. Ok, Master of Education, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science, etc. Es más que una licenciatura. All right. And finally, we have doctoral degree, que es el doctorado, all right? It can take from two to 10 years, okay? And um, it can be after a master degree. Puede ser después de un master degree, right? And those are typically called PhD. Esos son los famosos PhD, que significa doctorado, ya. Es lo más, ¿verdad? Es el doctorado. Uh, here we have some examples. DDA, DDS, ok, etc. Um, doctor of Psychology, Doctor of Pharmacy, Doctor of Medicine, etc. Doctor in Education, etc. Ok, so probably right now, guys, it is too much information for you to learn it by heart or for you to memorize it, but at least you have already identified this. Okay, so if you want to label yourself, ustedes se quieren etiquetar en uno de esos, ustedes ya saben qué decir. Okay, Dep dependiendo de qué nivel tenga, de qué degree tenga, doctoral degree, master's degree, bachelor's degree o associate degree. Si quieren que les comparte este documento, con mucho gusto se los puedo eh, pasar al WhatsApp, pero Eso es lo que quería traerles extra el día de ahora, completando lo que vimos en, en el video. Questions, guys? Questions so far? No questions. No question. It's clear. Perfect. So let's put them in practice, guys. Put them in practice, okay? Pónganlo en práctica para que usted pueda decir que, cuál es el nivel y, y su background education, okay? So, let me continue with the presentation then. Story que hemos tratado de, de ver mucho y bueno, hemos practicado, yes, I know, pero let's continue practicing. Okay, here we have. All right, so now we have, uh, we did it already. That's awesome. Let's go to the page 15, okay, on the book. Page 15 on the book. Let me open the book. Page 15. This is the page 15. So, guys, um, we have here a conversation between an HR representative and a new employee. Okay. This is like a kind of interview in which the HR representative is asking questions to the new employee in order to know about her or oh, about her actually because it's Blanca. So, um, those are, those are personal questions or etc. I mean, questions about her, questions about Blanca. So, those are the questions that commonly can be asked in an interview. Okay, esas preguntas pueden ser en una interview. So, let's let's pay attention to that. I will ask, um, let's see, Osbin, Osbin, could you please help me to be Alan? You will be Alan and I will be blank. Okay? Okay. All right. What is your social security number? It's 3456-3245-78654. Dash when were you born? I was born on July the 1st. Where did you work? I worked in Molsa. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From 2005 to 2011. Do you have any university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA. 
do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. Thank you, Osvin. So guys, what is VBA here? Do you remember what is the meaning of VBA? Is that a, uh, what is it? Is that a mm, doc, doctoral? Bachelor, bachelor. Bachelor? Oh, that's a bachelor, right? Bachelor in what? Bach uh -huh. Bachelor in what? Do you remember? Business. 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 Uh, Exactly, Bachelor Business Administration. Very good, ok. Recuerden que si quieren saber las siglas, búsquenlo en internet o yo les paso el documento que tengo, que tienen como los más generales, pero siempre pongan atención en la, en la, en, en el inicial, la letra inicial. All right, so those are common questions that you can be asked in an interview. Um, this is like a, not a job interview, but it's the HR the representative. El representante de recursos humanos que quizás quiere llenar la job, applic um, job applicant. Okay. So, um, let's see. Yes, I believe I will scroll down, but I would like to ask you guys, what kind of education does Blanca have? Marcos Antonio, what kind of education does Blanca have? Marcos, are you there? Blanca has. Has? Blanca has. Um, have a BBA. Good job. Blanca has a BBA. What other type of job could Blanca have in the company? Estefania? What other type of job could Blanca have in the company? Um, let's see, Jessica, what kind of, I'm sorry, what other type of job could Blanca have in, a comp, in the company based on the conversation? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, my camera. Jaime, what do you think? What other type of job could Blanca have in a company? What is her job? What is her work experience, guys? She what has is manager. Mm -hmm. Very good. She was a manager, right? The evening manager. So maybe she can has a, a she she could be she could be a manager. The evening manager, right? She could be the evening and uh, the evening manager. Very good. Okay, guys. So let's one see. Question, what, one question. Go for it. Uh, what is the meaning of evening manager? Evening manager is the manager that is in the. Uh, if I am not mistaken, to be honest with you, if I am not mistaken, that will be the manager that is in the evening shift or no. Let me look it up. No vaya a ser que eso es lo que yo pienso. Um, I don't know if it, uh, it has another one. No, no, no. Hmm. Ahorita veo. Hmm. Otra cosa me estaba saliendo, guys. Night Manager es una movie. Nada que ver. Mira, realmente no veo, guys, como una, un significado para Evening Manager. Lo más que creo es que es como el, era el manager, pero en las tardes del, 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 del lugar de donde estaba. El gerente de la tarde. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's the, 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 the,
and I have the medio, medio tiempo. I, uh -huh, I think exactly. It. Yes, because I don't see another um, meaning. No veo otra meaning. Lo único que veo acá es nada más un artículo que dice an evening manager acts as a manager on duty and supports guests, service alongside uh, resolving any guest complaints or issue. No, creo que no. Sí sería como solo el manager, pero de la tarde, right? Eso más que todo. Sí. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Thank you for asking. Okay, so guys, um, let me go back to the book. Now, we have this applicant for employment. Okay? Let's go ahead and fill this applicant. Okay, let's suppose that you are the applicant for this employment and uh, let's go ahead and fill the blank spaces. Let's put the date. Let's say that you have you are hired, okay? And you will be filling this applicant. Well, no, I mean, it doesn't mean that you are hired. It is because you are applying for a position, right? Let's see that um, is the day of the interview, okay? Let's think about the day of the interview. Estamos en el día del, del, del que van a hacer la entrevista. Entonces a usted viene y le dicen, ok, eh, lléneme esta, aplica esta form, por favor. Ok, esta application for employment. Ok, ahorita vamos a llenarla. Vamos a poner la date, position apply for, name, address, phone number, sex, date of birth, social security number, driver license, employment history, dates of employment, name of the company, address, job title, qué tipo de qué posición tenía, cuáles eran sus tareas, duties, sus tareas de la posición, education, cuál es el degree que obtuvo, en qué institución y qué fecha. ¿Ok? Vamos a llenar esta aplicación ahorita, guys. Háganme el favorcito y lo vamos a hacer de manera individual. We have uh, eight minutes to do it. Eight minutes, ¿ok? Ocho minutos. Mientras ustedes lo hacen, voy a pasar la tenda, Smith, ¿ok? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Lizette del Carmen Hernández Smith Smith. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Present. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Marcos. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Por aquí lo vi. Where is him? Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. That is the, this is the second attendance. Hello, hello, Marcos. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Kenny Lizer Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Julio César Merino González. Present teacher. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Daniela Present. Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Thank you. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. 
Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Wow. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristian José López Pérez, could you stay with me today in the one on one yes. session? Ah, ok. Yes. Thank you very much, Christian. So, guys, let's have more time to do it, okay? Let's fill uh, this application. Marcos Antonio tiene, no tiene ninguna attendance. I mean, ningún chequecito en la attendance list todavía. Teacher no, sé si no me mencionó. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? ¿A quién no lo mencioné? Uy. O oh, Osvin, sí, Osvin, creo que dijo que no había Pre mencionado. Present. Ah, Luis, Luis, no lo mencioné. Um, Austin, Luis, eh, ok, thank you, Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present. Thank you. Guys, tomorrow we won't have classes. Ok, ahora les mandé el comunicado, ahora lo mandaron. I didn't know, lo más seguro les dije que sí, pero no podía decir, ¿verdad? Porque no, no estaba sure. Pero tomorrow no classes, all right? Because tomorrow is Father's Day. By the way, since tomorrow we won't have classes, guys, I want to, from now, I want to say congratulations to all fathers, ok? Here. A round of applause for all feathers in the world and the ones that we have in classes, okay? Thank Congratulations you. and may God bless you a lot, guys. I hope you can enjoy it tomorrow, okay? Pero disfruten que se vayan a una cena y estén. Y si no, pues ustedes hagan la cena a su familia. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, guys. Me avisan cuando finalizan la form. Les voy a pedir un minutito, guys. Perdóneme. Uh, I will bring more water. Okay. Just give me one moment. Okay.
Thank you, guys. Um, okay. So, did you finish? Not no? yet, but Not yet. almost. I'm oh. ready. Almost? Also, almost? Almost already. Almost. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Almost already. <laughs> Nature mm -hmm. last night. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, it's 9.52. Hmm. Guys, I wanted to ask you, um, have you completed the homework, the activities per class? Have you been completing the, the homeworks, guys, the homework assignments? From the platform? Mm -hmm. From the platform? ¿Cómo van con oh, no. esto? I have not. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> no, ni Jaime ni Sabrina. I have, ni... I have not. Sorry. Heard. Qué ejemplo, guys. I don't applicate it. Did we? Number one and the number two. Perdón, a ver. I did it number one and number two. Thank you, Mabe. Los demás, recuérdense hacer las tareas, guys. El lunes vamos a tener, uh, oh, ya voy, Osby. El lunes vamos okay. a completar las cinco. Quiere decir que para el lunes antes de la medianoche usted tiene que haberlas enviado las cinco. Toma el fin de semana para hacerlas, para que nada más le quede pendiente la del lunes y no se atrase mucho. Dígame, Osby. Este, la, este, la de Straubold la completé igual que Daniel, la estuvimos haciendo porque trabajamos somos compañeros de trabajo, pero uh -huh. eh, la completé yo ahora con la con el ejercicio que hicimos ayer, que estuvimos llenando, pero nos apareció como todas reprobadas. Y lo hicimos como lo, lo habíamos hecho en clase. Mándenos la foto, please, porque ay, viera que a veces aparece mucho inconveniente con la plataforma, ya lo hemos reportado que a veces la toma como mala y no está mala, entonces eh, hay que revisarla y reportarla, ¿verdad? La ha tratado de poner con punto, sin punto, porque a veces falta el punto y por eso puede estar malo. De todas formas la llenamos y siempre la pone mala, todas nos la puso con esto. En mi eh, caso solo, solo me puso mala la, las cuatro y las cinco. 
pero estoy, estoy buscando las formas, siguiéndolo, este, intentando, intentando de nuevo, ¿verdad? Pero ah, sí, sí, la 4 y la 5 me salieron mal. Más de no la Tengo una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, mis olmos, eh, yo la completé, ¿Sí? bueno, nosotros la completamos con Oswin. Eh, okay. Y este, lo terminé antier. Este, y, y si sí, tuvieron errores, pero el, volviendo al mismo, al mismo detalle de, de Oswin, uh -huh. este, lo hicimos como la, como como la, la clase anterior, ayer, uh -huh. y, y siempre dio ese problema. El detalle es que yo lo terminé antier y lo en... uh -huh. casi me, me salió todo malo. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, mi pregunta es, ¿se puede corregir? Aunque ya se haya enviado. Sí, claro, todas las veces que ustedes deseen, guys, ok, no se preocupen, acuérdense que el propósito pero... es que aprenda y realmente las disculpas por el inconveniente que está saliendo mal, pero no es la primera vez, créanme, a veces pasa ese inconveniente, pero lo que hay que hacer es reportarlo, mandar fotos, capturas de pantalla, entre lo mismo, entre nosotros encontramos la manera, si no nos lo arreglan, pero ahora lo voy a reportar, pero necesito saber qué números son. Las que tienen problemas. Ok, y vamos a revisar. Voy a revisar entonces eso, gracias. Y me si está la oportunidad la... de volverlo a hacer, sí, sí, si está la oportunidad, la opción de volverlo a hacer nuevamente, tengo que borrarlo y volverlo a hacer, me imagino que así es. Este, Todas las veces que quieras. Entonces, ok, entonces no, voy a ver, sí, porque nos, bueno, a mí todas malas, o sea, yo no sé nada de inglés, I don't know. Nothing about English. Ay, usted le cree. Pero estaba buena. Y me la... Sí, Try más, over and over and again. Mándeme los, 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 la foto eh, del, bueno, en ese caso serían todas, ¿verdad? Mándenos las fotos al grupo. Vamos a encontrar sí. la manera, igual yo lo voy a reportar, pero necesito saber cuál es, qué números son y qué número de ejercicio. Okay. Me los mandan, please. Y yo lo reporto, guys, las disculpas del caso, ¿ok? Porque si a veces Bien. pasa eso, créanme. A mí igual tiché la 3 y la 4. Ayer me costé como la 1. No las pude hacer. Ah, vaya. Siempre reporten en el grupo, guys. Ahí entre todos lo vemos, ¿ok? Ok. Bueno, guys. Time is over. It's time to go to sleep. Time to rest, time to celebrate, okay? <laughs> And if you're not celebrating, it's time to rest. And to spend you, time with your family. See you Saturday. Uh, see you on Monday. <laughs> uh, Monday. En, en, en lo que nos mandaron ahí dice que el sábado 18. ¿A dónde? <gasps> yes. You chat. Uh, es, para, es para los que, es para los que lo? reciben el fin de semana clases. Me imagino que el mensaje es ah, general. Ah, sí, 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 es en general. Para los que reciben sábado. No, no, Entonces, no, no se preocupe. Hasta el lunes. Hasta el lunes, guys. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> And okay. Happy Father's Day, okay? I hope you enjoy tomorrow. Um, and see you on Monday, okay? Take care. See you on Monday. Thank okay. you. Okay. Have, eh, have a good night, teacher. Have a good night, yeah. take care. ¿Dónde está Marcos? Marcos Antonio. Oh, my God. No está, ¿verdad? Anyways. Okay, Cristian, solamente se queda conmigo, Cristian. Please don't go. Bye-bye. Bye, take care. Good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Bye, good night. Oh, good night. Have a good night, Kenny. Hello, hello, Christian. How are you? How are you today? Great, great to know you. everything is great. Uh, nice to talk to you again. And I would like to ask you, Christian, how do you feel in this course? 
what do you think Very nice. about? Excuse me? I think this course is different. I don't know why, but really? I feel different. How? Tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I... I don't know what is the the, the correct um terms were, but more interest. Most, more interesting. The, more interesting, but mayor interest. Uh huh. Yes. But, uh, more interesting for the for the partner. Okay. Oh, I got your point. Like the the your your classmates yes. are more interested. On the course. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Whenever you talk about one person being interested in something, you say, I am interested, interested in. And when mm -hmm. a course or without or anything, the situation is interesting, then you said that with the ING, I interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, yes, right? That's true. It, it is because um, I believe you guys are leaving the intermediate plateau. Have you heard about this, the intermediate plateau? No? Yes. Uh-huh, okay. I believe that they are, they are leaving the intermediate plateau, right? They are taking advantage of the cars. They are interested, as you said. Um, there are people that have been staying, I mean, there are people that have stayed in the course because they want to continue and because they want to do it. Uh -huh. So that's great. That's great because it's helping us a lot. I mean, that is helping us to the whole group, I believe, right? So we are trying to develop more and other skills. We're trying to know more about extra topics and not only grammar. You know, grammar, it's been studied at the beginning because it's the basis, right? And we will continue working in grammar because it's the, ba the basis in order for you to know English. But yes, I, I feel the same. Uh, people are more interested, are paying attention or participating. I hope that they can continue like, like that until the end of the course <laughs> and the next course, right? But yes, and how do you feel? I mean, what do you think about your skills? Is there anything that you're still struggling? Any skill that you would like to improve? more you say mm, this skill is is giving me problem or i don't practice too much this skill what do you think maybe mm, the the rules because i don't memorize the rules i only the grammar rules yes the grammar rules. i only for example i have to make a, a, a exercise i made the exercise because I uh, I know he is the exercise or he is the force to make the exercise, but I don't know the rule. I I don't memorize the rule. <laughs> um okay. Do you believe that this is I mean giving you issues at the moment that you're speaking not to know the rules? Oh no, I don't I don't understand. Can you repeat? Yes. Do you believe that it is I mean that does it have consequences not to know the rules when you speak or when you produce another yes. skill? Yes, yes right? have consequences. Yes, and so now you can tell me, Christian, is grammar important? Yes. <laughs> yes, right? It's very important. It's very important, yes. You know what, there are many people that says, you know what, let's go ahead and just speak. That's the only thing. That's what it matters. Don't teach me grammar. For me, it really matters. <laughs> it's very important. I mean, not to concentrate just in grammar, but to know the basis. And for this, Christian, I can tell you to go ahead and, I don't know, try to find a way to, to review the grammar structures. Um, I mean, 
once in a while once in not every day but once in a while try to check oh, okay let me let me go ahead and review the present perfect right now ah okay i got it and then you apply it right but i would like to know christian what type of learner are you it seems that you are like uh, what is the one? Oh my God, I, I just forget. Um, I just forgot the type of learner. We have the kinesthetic. Then we have, uy, se me olvidó todos, oh my God. I, I learn making. You are kinesthetic then. You're kinesthetic. Yeah. Uh, visual, I, visual I, I, learner. I, I, yes. Mm -hmm. Visual and making, but I don't like read. Also, you are not visual then. You are uh, yes, visually. Visually, for example, if remember. you had an exercise, you you can you can use an exercise. I can see the exercise. I identify the part of the exercise, but you can you can tell me, okay, do you have to read? These rules for the next exercise is for this body. Mm -hmm. I prefer to see, I prefer to make. Uh huh. Um, okay, you're not visual. You're not visual. That is not visual. Um, I was thinking about the other one that it was the auditory. No, it was, that was not the name that I managed before, but. Let me let me remember. Yes, auditory, visual, kinesthetic, visual, kinesthetic, auditory. Mm -hmm. Auditory. <laughs> Look at this. It says, uh, visual, you learn by illustrations, pictures, videos, PowerPoint presentation, articles, and graphs. And with auditory, one on one conversation like this one, podcast group discussions, oral presentations, and videos, auditory. So which of these? Do you prefer pictures, PowerPoint presentation, or articles? No, I believe you don't prefer that. I believe that you prefer videos, oral presentation, group discussions. No? It's difficult because, <laughs> uh, when I, when I, when I make this, this evaluation in Spanish, my my fourth to learn is difficult because I learn in three different four. But in a specific, mm -hmm. specific because I am visual, but not or thing. I got your point. Uh, like you have a certain percentage. I, of example, every I, I can single. I can learn I can learn when I read, but the the, the definition is very small and I don't know eh, tiene que ir al punto. Mm -hmm. so I believe yeah. Christian that is better for you like trying to learn like a, with an application in your phone like to try to download an application that is interactive an interactive application that is giving you the rules and then the examples and the exercise and that's it. Not too much uh, reading, right? Not too much lecture. You just really need to go ahead and do the exercises, try to get, oh, okay, I got this, this, this. Okay, let's do it, right? I believe that you can do it, but do it like that. Um, so that means that maybe Duolingo works for you. A lot that can work a lot for you. Duolingo and watching videos, short videos. That's what 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 is gonna be working for you. Not to read because you don't like reading, <laughs> or you don't like watching videos. Oh my god! I don't I don't, I don't like watch the videos in English. I don't like. Oh my god! Uh, That's listen an to music learner. in English. Yes, this is difficult. You know what, what I don't like about English? I don't like watching movies in English. I don't like at all. I mean, I don't like, I prefer Spanish, Spanish movies. I don't know why, but I don't like, I don't like them. 
I don't like it. I don't like them in other language. So I always prefer if I go to the cinema, I always prefer <laughs> shoes and the 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 one that can uh they they speak Spanish, not the subtitles. I don't like subtitles as well. <laughs> I believe it's boring. So I understand your point. So in that case, the, the best option will be choosing an application in which you can once in a while uh, try to review some topics. Why? Because you already you already um, you know study those topics, but it is just a matter of remembering things or reviewing but, but, things. But, for, but in this case, for example, the rules for the structure, I don't have problem. For example, speaking for the simple past, for simple future, could be, will be. But for mm -hmm. example, rules, for example, when I have to make the verb to, to sing uh, regular and irregular, this rule, ah. I don't like. This the regular, rule, example, regular and irregular uh -huh. verse. But you know mm -hmm. what? The only thing that I mean, the only need, the only rule you need to follow are for the regular verse, because for the regular, unfortunately, you need to learn them by heart. I mean, you need to memorize them. There's no choice. But the regular ones, maybe. Then you need to follow the rules, and there is no option. Yes, for example, I I know the 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 verb in past participle or in past or in but because I memorize it, mm. but I don't know the word. I memorize the bear, I can use the bear. Uh -huh. but for example, uh, Christian, if you I can ask make you... this past participle of the bear uh, about with the rule. I don't know. Mm. I know the past participle is this because I memorize. It is, bec uh, okay, it is like, okay, if I ask you a question, Christian, why, should I say learned instead of learned? You don't know the rule, right? I mean, it's just an example, <laughs> but you I memorize it. Uh -huh. I got your point. Uh, if, for example, in this case, if, if you make a verb, if I don't know the past participle, I change the past participle in a, in, in a internet and memorize. The, the, the <laughs> so you don't, I don't like know, to investigate the, the rule. Yeah. I got your point. Well, if they I, say with with if they say with the definition, I don't like to find the definition of the word. I like to to sing put them in to, context. To translate. Put yes. them in context or just translate it in Spanish. That's it. Yes, translate. Oh, I got your point. Well, <laughs> in that specific situation, I can say this is something that you need to do for you to continue learning. But on the other hand, that you mentioned that you need to know the rule by heart, I believe Christian is not necessary unless you are you you will become a teacher. If you will become an English teacher, then you need to know the rules <laughs> by heart. Yes. You need to know them. But just for speaking purposes or for managing the English or, you know, handling this English and this language, I believe you don't need to know exactly why, right? Unless you are in an exam or unless someone tells you, you know what, why is this, this like that? At the end, the most important thing is to apply the rules, even though you don't know, you don't know exactly the origin or why, to apply the rules, okay? And to speak and to manage the skills, right? I believe that is important. But to know exactly why this and that, no, unless you are becoming a teacher, right? So for this, I believe that there's there's no worry, the bad worries about that. But my best recommendation will be, I mean, you can go ahead and translate it in Spanish. I mean, it's fine, but you will learn more if you look for the definition. But yes, it's, at the end, it's, it's up to you, right? It's not like a must that you need to do this in order to speak English or in order to learn 
by heart. I mean, it's all up to you, but I believe that it's not something that, oh my God, you are not going to be speaking English. No, it's not like that. I mean, you can continue like that and that's fine. But um, no, I believe you're good then. I mean, unless you apply the rules and you know what is correct and what is incorrect, that's good. Yes, I believe. Because you know, you already told me that you know the structure, you can go ahead and, and follow the, the formula and all of this, okay? So I believe we're good, all right? But if there is any other skill that is difficult for you and you, know, you don't know how to develop that skill, let me know if there is... I don't know if there is any topic that you need to need to need to have sorry more practice or you have doubts. For the moment, everything, everything okay. okay. That's great. Perfect. Sometimes uh, your I mean your classmates tell me, you know what, teacher, the closest. The closest is difficult. I know the closest is difficult. Uh, it's a topic that is difficult. But we are just a star with the closest. There are a lot of things to mention, to learn about the closest. We are in a 20% right now just about the closest. that are missing a lot. And right now you're not gonna be having the 100% of learning until the end. So we are step by, we are going step by step. But that's nice to know, Christian, that everything is good. Um, if you have any feedback, any comment, feel free to ask me, okay? And you know that I really love that, that my students tell me what is going on because sometimes you don't know, sometimes you, you don't have the same perspective, so thank you. And all the feedbacks that you guys uh, given to me uh, have been very useful for me, so. If you have any question as well, you know that I am in WhatsApp, you can count on me. And I don't know if you have any other questions so far, Christian? No. Okay, great. So it was a pleasure to talk to you. And again, let's keep it up like that, Christian. I know you can continue learning more and more and more. And I know that you will become better every single day. So thank you very much for your time. And I hope you have an amazing weekend, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye-bye, Christian. Take care. Have a good week. rest. Thank you.